your MMA. We're here with uh, a friend of the site and the magazine. We've got Brad Pickett, One Punch. He's fighting this weekend at the UFC in Nottingham, taking on Eves of Bruin. Brad, how are you doing? I'm, I'm good, thanks. You know, uh, excited to be back in, uh, in England and uh, hopefully uh, come away with a nice W at the weekend. How was all uh, the media stuff working out for you? You know, obviously you're well versed in it now. You've spent a long time in the WEC. You know, you've had got a, quite a few UFC belts under your, car, under your belt at this point. Is it getting any easier? Yeah, of course. Experience, experience is always, uh, you know, uh, used to the environment. Yeah, it's a lot easier uh, to handle. I'm used to it now. You know, I've had 28 fights, so same with fighting. You know, you get used to the nerves, you get used to different things. And yeah, so obviously the more experience you become, the easier it becomes. Yep, and we uh, we had a bit of a poll on our Facebook page the other day, and uh, you guys came top as a potential fight of the night. I mean, people have seen you fight. You know, you come forward style all the time. Would you say that's what people come to expect of you these days? That's what I expect of myself. That's the type of fire I am. That, that, you know, that's my makeup. You know, if I'm fighting in the UFC, KFC, whatever, you know, I'll be doing the same thing, you know, coming forward and trying to put my guy away. And uh, that's what I'll be doing Saturday night. Yeah, and you're fighting Eves. Obviously, he's coming off the back of a pretty good win streak himself, you know. You're coming off the back of a very good win in uh, back in April, I believe. You know, how how is this fight featuring in the division for you? I think it's very relevant and it's very important. I I, I think he's a very good guy and very underrated within my division. Uh, probably because he's quite new to it. He had been fighting at 45 for a long time. Now he's in my weight division, uh, and he's three and zero. And I've watched the fights, and and he's looks it looked impressive. I thought he was impressive at 145. You know, I used to fight that weight class as well, and I, I went down a weight class and. It, Paid, you know, done me well, so uh, he's been doing him well. And uh, you know, come Saturday night, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the fight. I think it'll be an exciting fight. He's very flamboyant, very, very good striker, more of a kickboxer, and I, I'm more of an aggressive kind of boxer type. So it'll be quite a good uh, contrast of stars. You mentioned that his drop and he's undefeated at the weight. Is his size going to be a factor at all? Do you think? I don't think I'm the smallest feather uh, banner weight out there anyway. Uh, no, I don't think so. No, as an elephant is not the king of the jungle, you know. So, and so everyone gets fixated on sight, uh, a size so much. It's not a big thing. Yep. And as you briefly mentioned, you know, his style it does uh, throw some unorthodox things into there. How, how do you prepare for a guy like that, or have you just got to try and maintain what you're doing? Um, y yeah, I've got, uh, you concentrate on what they're doing a little bit to a certain degree. As in, yeah, I have some sparring partners back home doing the usual spinning back kicks, spinning back fists and stuff like that. But you never know, they don't normally have, may not have the same stuff. But to be honest, I actually am quite naturally good at seeing that sort of stuff. I find, you know, God forbid this now, I'll say this Saturday, something happened crazy. But, you know, I'm quite good at adapting these situations and stuff and but you know I like to concentrate on what I'm going to do if you sometimes you fixate too much on what they're going to do you wait till they're going to do it and you let them do what they're going to do and then you let them put their you know foot in on, on, on the, the fight where with me I like to go in there concentrate on what I'm going to do and impose my game plan and uh, you know and that's what I plan to do Saturday. Yep. And just a quick look retrospectively obviously the last time you fought in the UK was against uh, Barrow a tough loss for yourself, but since then he's gone on to uh, obviously win, beat Uriah Faber to get the interim title. You know, how does it, at the time you obviously didn't know that was going to happen, but has that changed your view on the fight a little bit? You know, does it make the loss any easier, the fact that he's now, you know, the champion? Honestly, no, not really. No, uh, I knew it was tough going into that fight, uh, but for me, a loss is a loss. I'm, I'm in the sport, you know, to win. I'm not here just to go, hey, I'm in the UFC, everyone, and happy to be here. I want to be someone in the division. Yeah, it does cushion the blow a little bit that he went on to, like, you know, to, to go and beat good people. Because if he went on and lost to everyone, it, then, it, yeah, it, oh, you'll be with that guy. You know. So obviously, yeah, uh, it does a little bit. But yeah. for me, I, it's all about winning. So I'm in there just to win, and, and that's my goal, especially Saturday. Any rematch in the sights? Uh, obviously, now he's got the title. You want to take care of your booing first, but... That's in your sights, I'm guessing? Um, to be honest, I'm not one for rematches, really, to be honest. Because so many people, are, for me, I, I like to experience the fight. We win or loss. Mm. I'm not like, oh, I want a rematch. Or if I win, I, you know, if someone wants to rematch me, it's not something I really like doing. I want to fight other people. I want to experience different things. Um, set different challenges, sort of thing. But if there's a carrot at the end of the stick, like an interim belt or a number one contender spot, of course, I fight anybody, you know? So... Uh, 
yeah, I would fight him again. But it's not something I look for rematches. I'd rather fight someone like maybe like a McDonald yeah. or someone like that. You know, uh, other people are up there. You know, uh, Eddie Wine to come out for a good win against Jordan. So, yeah, these people like to fight. But to be honest, I don't like to look past opponents. So I don't really want to look past Eve Javon. He's a very tough opponent. If I win, I go one direction. If I lose, I go a different direction. My goal is to go in the right direction. You know? Yeah, thanks a lot for your time, Brad. You know it's uh, not that easy when you're cutting weight and stuff. So, you know, all the best for the weekend. We're expecting a good fight. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Cheers, man. Thank you. Thanks a lot.